Hey folks, Bill Duran here, your <laughs> imperfect hair guy, back with another fantastic message. At least I hope it is for you. And if nothing else, I hope you get a smile and a laugh out of my hair. All right, well, I really want to talk about legacy. And I keep going back to this because I have conversations with my wife all the time about everything that's going on around us. And Oh, by the way, she is the most fantastic wife ever. I've been with her 33 years, been married 30 years. Amazing woman. So, she has helped me become the person I am today, and I'm pretty proud of who I am. And our conversation was, you know, we were talking about my brother passing last year. It's coming up on nine months. And she said, you know, within a couple of weeks, people generally forget about the person that passed away. And I said, yeah, that's really sad. Because if people realized that they should be leaving some kind of legacy behind, that might fan their fire of urgency. And, and they may... They may want to get things done quicker. You know, you have to look at the people that are in, in your life and around you and also look at the people that you've lost and just try to try to see if they left any kind of legacy. You know, and I don't mean just a legacy of stocks, bonds, mutual funds, IRAs, gold, silver, diamonds, platinum, all that stuff. I don't mean that. I mean a legacy of that person. Because once all those physical assets are liquidated, there's nothing left. So you can't, like, keep uh, experiencing their legacy. So I just encourage everybody to figure out what your legacy is going to be, what you want it to be, and start a plan of action that resonates with you, not with me and not with anybody else, not with any other speaker that you may listen to. But what do you want your legacy to be? And how important is it to you to leave a legacy? And then lastly, how urgent is it in your life to get something done to be able to leave a legacy for the people that you love and care for behind? That's all I got today. I just took, I hope this sparks the, I don't know, creative juices in people. And they just realize that time is so limited on earth that we never know how much time we have. So start creating and creating and creating. This has been Builder and your imperfect hair guy. And yes, I'll be back probably tomorrow. <laughs> See you later, folks.